Okay, so I am in Bali, Ubud, well, Ubud, Bali, sorry, with the man. And I found a local company here that has grass fed and hormone free beef. So, this is the first time I'm actually trying it. So, it's called the Local Parts. Um, and I'm eating it right now, so I have it cooked because I like my beef cooked very, very raw. So I'll try to show you. You can see it's very pink. I like it very, very raw. Um, I've had a few bites, and it tastes it tastes very clean and pure. That's the best way I can describe it. Meat back home. Um, even the meat back home is grass-fed and hormone-free. It tastes gamey, and this meat tastes... Mm. It tastes very clean, and I wonder why it doesn't Sweet. taste gamey at all. Yeah. Mmm. Yeah, maybe a little sweet. Like, it doesn't taste gamey. It doesn't taste wild. It makes me wonder when I'm eating back home. But I kind of think when I think of when I think of gamey. You think healthy? Well, I think like because in the wild, a wild would be gamey, yeah. And like wild definitely doesn't have any. I don't know. It's weird. But when I smelt it, though, it smelled like. Yeah. When we smelt it for the first time, it smelled very clean. Even the fat. The fat tastes like real fat, like a healthy cow fat. Sorry, I'm going to eat with my hands. Uh. I like it. I like it. It's very... I do like it. It just has a very different taste with than some, from back home. With some bintang. This is a good beer here in Indonesia. It's actually quite nice. John's not a big beer drinker, but he seems to be enjoying it. Yeah, I like it. So, I guess we'll see. I've been so excited about having um, meat again because since we came to Bali here, we... Carboholics. Yeah, we became carb carboholics because it's just really expensive to do carnivore here. Um, it would cost Canadian per person if we were to eat the same meat as mm -hmm. back home would probably be in the range of 60 to 60 probably dollars a day. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Each. Each. Okay. Can I use your knife, honey? Uh, knife shit. Knife shit? So that's why I'm enjoying it in my hands. Yeah, it smells different, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Um. Well, because I, I got creeped out by I think Babe's going to like the fat. He's going to like the fat. I can't even cut through the fucking fat. I think he's going to like the beef, too. I, uh, I, uh, just use your hands. Go savage? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I quite enjoy it. It just has a very different taste from back home, and I'm just kind of started adapting to it. Mm. But, hmm. you're too tall, babe. It's okay. Like, what does that taste like to you? It's different. Mm-hmm. It's very different. Oh, much prefer the fat. Yeah, see? Because the fat tastes very... It, back home, I like the fat, but Jonathan got repulsed by it. This fat tastes very clean. I've been so excited to have meat back in my life. I even dreamt about meat last night. Eating raw meat. With my body telling me I need to be calm. I've been eating carbs and I don't like how my body feels and it's really funny because 
when you eat when you're carb adapted you want to eat every every chance you get like we ate i'd say a pretty big meal yesterday carbs it was of rice noodles little little portions of meat and i was hungry right after we got home from the restaurant and we munched out on shit food mm-hmm mm. Mm. oh we have a mm. analogy now yeah the reason why people are fat or most likely the reason why people overeat and fat because they don't have enough protein because yeah. they keep trying to eat to satiate themselves and they mm-hmm. can't because we ate three fucking meals three two three plates mm-hmm. and we still had to grab bags of chips candy after I've been there. told I've been told John yesterday when we came home I'm so hungry I'm not satisfied like my body is not satisfied off carbs so I'd like to be somehow if not all carnivore because it just might be not impossible here i want to be mostly fat and meat even just one steak a day would probably yeah one steak a day see like for me like my body isn't going yes bitch it's going uh. my body's not going that way about me though my body's not going yes either right now but it's It might be because this is such a new type of cow, like it's in a different country. But I'll tell you what, I feel really like my body does feel a lot better eating this than I think I think I'm getting that. Tingling? Yeah, like the good tingles. Jonathan gets good tingles when he has good meat. Like I feel like the amino acids going through my vein. Yeah, I'm getting it. Mm. It's a tough gristle. Yeah, um, I'll I'll be eating this and I'll let you guys know how my body feels eating raw meat because this is very raw I like I like my meat very raw you can see how raw that is that's how I like my meat I still feel gaggy on this if it's any more cooked than this I won't eat it I don't think it's good so I'll let you know how my body adapts to raw meat from a different country that sounds pretty crazy um and I'll do a follow-up and tell you guys how I feel like my body, I can tell my body physically feels like yes, that's that's good. But right now, there's something that's like different, and it might be just because it's a different taste. I'm used to a very gamey flavor. No, yeah, my body doesn't want to eat this right now. But then again, I think that's just me and beef. Mm-hmm. John, he wasn't eating beef that one, anyways. He was eating chicken. Ew, chicken grosses me out. It's disgusting. I hate chicken. But, yeah, I'll see you guys soon. I said I would check in a little bit after I ate my meal, but it's been maybe three minutes since I signed off, and I'm still eating my meal, and I just feel my brain feels very, very smart. Like, I feel just the same way I felt on Carnivore before we came to Bali. I feel very, very optimal and high functioning. It's like taking a drug. I, it's like taking a drug. I feel very alert. And I my brain feels so different. And I, I finished my whole meal. And it wasn't a big meal. It was it was just that little medallion of steak. And then fat, lots of fat. But even eating the fat, I think that's what made my brain feel very, very high functioning. And just eating this meal, I'm full and satisfied. I don't even need to eat. Um, I'll eat Jonathan's leftovers later, but I don't, I feel very, very situated. Um, And it also made me want to, cra- it also started making me crave organ meat. 
I'm, my body's craving some type of liver, some type of kidney. I've never had beef kidney, but my body is wanting to try kidney or, or heart or something like that, brain, like just the organ meat. Mm. I feel very satisfied. So I'm going to go, I'm actually, I'm not going to eat today unless I'm hungry. And because I know I'm going to eat Jonathan's steak later and I have another steak in the fridge, I'm actually not going to eat out today. I really want to see how my body runs. Um, I'm a little worried because I was carnivore and then I went to cars and I'm kind of, I'm not switching back because it's going to be impossible here. But I do want to be for the most part 80% meat. It's going to be very tough here and very, it's not going to be affordable. So I'm going to have to do what I can to stay mostly carnivore. Even like, it's so weird because you would think that I would want rice because I'm Asian, but I actually, when we were eating rice yesterday with noodles, it wasn't doing anything for me. All the meals that we've had here lately, even in Singapore, it's just like, it's, it's not doing anything and it's because I'm supposed to eat meat. We're all supposed to eat meat. So I'm pretty pumped on that. And it's, I, I, I'm really curious to see if I keep my carb intake to a minimal and try to be mostly neat. I want to see how my body adapts because really if I went from carnivore to eating carbs, if I was going to go back to carnivore, you would assume that I would get carnivore flu or like keto flu this time around. I'm just really excited and curious to see how my body's going to adapt. And I want to get more fat adapted since I've been eating like shit lately. I just wanted to let you guys know that my body feels amazing right now. Um, yeah. I'll tune in with you guys in a bit and I'll let you know how my day goes. I'm going to enjoy this beer though since I can't be full carnivore. Anyways, I'm going to enjoy this beer and I'll let you guys know how it goes.